Hello guys, welcome back to Fundamental STEM. My name is Jer, and in this video, which is the third video in the series of how to draw shapes in Scratch, we're going to start dealing with triangles. And the first triangle, triangle we're going to deal with is an equilateral triangle. So, let's get ourselves sorted here. Let's get rid of the cat, and head in and grab our pen. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down here and grab our pen. Now I know guys that this video series seems really really easy but if you do these every single day with me and um, we work our way through it you will actually improve your, your, your coding you'll have a better understanding of what you're doing with Scratch. So we're going to get rid of that costume and we're going to position the pen, the pen's tip onto the crosshairs so that the pen actually draws. And I'm going to head into the backdrops and I'm going to pull out the, the brick wall backdrop. Now for this one actually what I'm going to do is before we get into coding with the pen I'm going to add in a feature here so we're going to have our pen or sorry our backdrop it's going to be this one here I'm going to get rid of that other backdrop so we just got the, the brick wall backdrop I'm going to make a duplicate so I have two backdrops and on the second one I'm going to uh, I want to pick our color here so I want to just a, a, a dark color just like black and I'm going to click into text and from pretty much down around here, I'm going to click down about there, and I'm going to type in, this is an equilateral triangle, okay? H-I-S, I-S, um, equilateral, E-Q-U-I-L, A-T-E-R-I-A-L, triangle. T-R-I-A-N-G-L-E, equilateral triangle, and um, we're going to add another little bit of text, underneath we're going to say it's called equilateral because it's called equilateral e -Q -U -I -L, yeah and a t e r i a l equilateral because because all three sides are the same size same size now the, the text kind of wandered off on me there I think what I'll do there is I will at this point here I'll return so then they're, they're down here so we have that typed out um, I can I think I'll just stick a little full stop there at the end there so if you click on here what we can do is we can enlarge that text like this we can position it down on the, the gray blocks so this is an equilateral triangle it's called equilateral because all three sides are the same size so when we draw our triangle and uh, we're going to program it to switch to the next costume and then we'll see that text coming up so let's click into our pen and click into code and let's get coding on the pen so first thing we need as always is our when the green flag clicked to start our code okay then we need to make sure that we're on backdrop one so let's click into looks and we have switch backdrop to backdrop one okay so that when the code when the code is started it's going to get rid of this text down here now we need some pen functions and as usual we can see we don't have any pen functions here so we need to add extensions click into the pen and there's our pen blocks first thing we need to do lift up the pen and then erase any previous work that you've done so erase all okay then we can set our pen size and our pen color so set your pen size let's go pen size 5 and pen color where's pen color here we are pen color pen color well, 50 will do let's leave that doesn't really make a difference put in whatever number you wish and then where we want to actually start drawing is going to go in next. So this is going to be the go to block. So what we can do is click on motions and there's the go to X and Y block. So I'm going to drag the pen and drop it to roughly where I want it to start. So say I wanted to start uh, about here. Then I'm going to drop the pen there. And those coordinates are now in that block. So we can drag that out, drop it in. 
Now, this is the next part, point and direction. This is, a, this is what's different to what we normally do. Point and direction, 90 degrees. Now we need to change this here because if we start drawing a triangle pointing in 90 degrees, the first thing it'll do is it'll go across here and then we'll have to draw it backwards. And I want to draw it like clockwise, shall we say, around this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to 30 degrees, okay, 30 degrees. And then we can start our motions that we need, our repeat motions that we need. But obviously first we need to put our pen down Put our pen down um, and then start the motions of the pen drawing so the pen drawing would start with a repeat block okay there's our repeat block now it's a triangle so it has three repeats and each repeat is going to be um now you you can just literally put your motion in but i actually kind of i'll explain this as, a, as i go um i want to i, I want it to show me the pen moving and drawing so what i tend to do is i pull out another 10 move block like this and inside there i put my motions block okay put my motions block in there so this is going to repeat 10 times move 10 steps so this is like saying move 100 steps but it's going to do it 10 steps at a time and so you get a better visual effect the pen you can see the pen moving now I want a, a larger triangle in this one, so I'm actually not going to see um, 10 steps, I'm going to say 20 steps. Then we need our um, turning, so we want to turn it clockwise after our moving. And the amount of degrees that goes in here is 120, 120. Okay, so it's going to start off down here, pointing in the direction of 30 degrees, get up to the top, and when it gets to the top where it needs to go, it's going to turn around 120 degrees then it's going to go down here turn 120 degrees and then go across to here and it's going to turn 120 degrees again but that won't be needed because that's it's not going to move that it'll have moved its three sides now just for added bit of effect to bring about the the script at the bottom and to get the pen out of the way i'm going to add a couple of extra blocks there so what i'm going to add in is to lift up the pen lift up your pen there we go and I'm going to tell it to go to another position to get the pen out of the way. So we're going to put the motions block and I'm not, I'm not going to add a number in here. What we're going to do is when it's done drawing the triangle, I want the pen to go here. So just drag it and drop it to wherever you want it to go. And those coordinates are now in that block. So I can drag that block out, add it in, scroll down. And then the final step is just going to be for the looks to change the backdrop to backdrop two. Yep, wall two, that's the one there. So let's have a quick look at that code, guys. Okay, and I'll zoom out a bit more. Okay, so this is the whole piece of code there now. And I'll go large screen, and let's play this one. So there we go, we have our pen in the area that we, it's not exactly in the area we could have it in. We have our triangle, and this is an equilateral triangle. It's called equilateral because all three sides are the same. That's the end of that video, guys. Remember to click back tomorrow and have a look at the next video. We'll continue with two more triangles and then we're getting into more shapes. Remember to click like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.